Pegasisters. The sound of hooves clip-clopping down a tile hallway roused Zip from her sleep, and the sharp yet muted staccato dashing away her soaring dreams. The white Pegasus groaned and rolled over, sprawling out onto the bed. She figured it must either be Pip or her mom getting up in the middle of the night to use the filly's room, or to fill up a glass of water. She just wished that they do it quieter, or at least remembered that they could fly now, and flutter along the palace's gilded halls to keep the noise down. But when the hinges on the window at the end of the hallway squeaked open, Zip grew curious. And concerned. She rolled out of the bed, blue hooves landing on a plush throw rug that muffled their fall, and the pegasus yawned, stretching at her wings before she quietly padded over to the door. Gently pressing down on the latch, Zip swung the door open with her hoof, and stuck her head through the gap as it glided open on well-oiled hinges. She caught a glimpse of a silhouette perched on the windowsill at the end of the hallway. When she blinks to try and focus on it with sleepy eyes, the figure hopped out of the window and into the night sky. What? Zip mumbled to herself as she rubbed her eyes with her feathers. She glanced in the opposite direction down the grand hallway, noting that the double doors to her mother's master bedroom were still firmly shut, but her sister's bedroom door was ajar. Pip? She asked aloud in a sleepy murmur, and now even more concerned. She made her way to the open window, as her hooves clapped against the marble floors of the palace. The cool air of the night came in through the window, greeting her face even before she stuck her head through the open portal. She had to shield her eyes for a moment, as the bright midnight lights of Zephyr Heights and its many skyscrapers nearly blinded her through the wispy clouds that drifted over its mountain perch. When her eyes had adjusted some, Zip let them wander around the city before her. They moved up and down the white and gold architecture and darting between the colorful advertisements in the city that never slept. She didn't really expect to see her sister out in the night, and there were too many bright lights and shifting shadows for her to pick out a little pink pegasus slipping away under cover of the night. At any rate, she assumed that Pip was just slipping off to film some kind of video challenge or something of the sort. Social media was her younger sister's life, and the lengths that she went to create content for her Pip squeaks? <laughs> the amount of time her sister wasted staring into her phone when she could be doing something useful or fulfilling only left Zip to shake her head. But it got Pip the spotlight that she craved, and if it kept the public eye off of herself, then Zip was more than content with letting her younger sister steal the show. She was about to go back to bed and write off the whole situation as Pip being Pip, but she stopped when she did one last sweep over the palace grounds before closing the windows and turning away. There, on the garden balcony overlooking the steep drop off the side of the mountain, staring into the moon was a pink pegasus with fluffy white wings sitting still as a statue. Pip? Zip wandered aloud again. Quiet introspection was never her sister forte. The only time Pip wasn't singing or talking was when she was asleep or absorbed in her phone. She definitely wasn't asleep, as far as Zip could tell, and she stared up at the moon, but not a glowing rectangle in the darkness. It seemed so unlike her that Zip ultimately decided to hop through the window and glide down to check in on her. The grass softly crunched under her hooves as she landed, and after a brief shake of her wings to get her feathers back in order, Zip folded them against her sides. Insects were buzzing under carefully manicured hedges, and fireflies added wan pulses of yellow-green light as they lazily bumbled to and fro. But Zip ignored all of that, her attention focused on her sister. She stopped a few tail lengths away, and after struggling for a few moments to come up with the right words to say, she instead resorted to a simple, Hey, Pep. Her name got the first sign of life out of the pink pegasus Zip had seen thus far. Hey. Was all she said, but it was quiet and restrained, hardly the Pip that Zip was used to. She didn't even take her eyes away from the night sky, nor acknowledge her sister in any other way. Zip took a step closer. So, you doing something out here? Some kind of meditation or something? Some kind of challenge? She looked around Pip's hooves, but didn't see her phone. Where's your phone? In my room. Came Pip's reply. Zip stopped dead in her tracks and blinked. Oh. She said. This is serious then. She quietly added to herself. Raising an eyebrow, Zip slowly plodded closer, until she was standing by Pip's side. But still, her sister refused to look at her. What's wrong, Pip? Pip's muzzle scrunched up for a second, before setting back to a mask of neutrality. Nothing. She said. Uh-huh. Zip sat down next to her sister, though still a cool distance away. That nothing must be pretty important to get you to put down the screen for five minutes. The comment got an irritated flick out of Pip's tail. Go away. The younger Pegasus snapped. Just... A huff and a growl. Leave me alone. As soon as you tell me what's really going on, I'll be out of your mane. Then you can keep an eye on the moon, making sure it doesn't go anywhere. When Pip didn't answer her, Zip cocked her head at her. Is this about your... what is it, your Instapone thing? Just make some apology video or something and they'll all forgive you for the concert, you've done it before. It's not about them! Pip said, and for the first time she took her eyes away from the moon. When she looked at Zip, there was anger and hurt in them. It's about you! Zip blinked. Me? 
she asked. What did I do? You left me there! The young Pegasus exclaimed. Hanging from wires, a fake for all the world to see! You could have done something, could have... I don't know! Pip's lip trembled and she sharply turned away. But you ran off and I had to get out of that mess myself! I barely got away before they arrested Mom! You know why I had to run, Zip protested. Remember the whole crystal thing? Bring magic back to the world, the fate of all pony kind and the balance? It's only been like a week, Pip. I would have helped you if I could. You could, but you didn't! I had to escape and find you, and you were about to leave me behind! Pip bared her teeth and hurt, and her eyes started to shine. How do I know that you're not gonna do it again? The pain in her sister's voice took Zip it back, and it took her several seconds to find her voice. Pip, you're my sister. Zip assured her, and she scooted a few inches closer. I didn't know what I was going to do at that moment. I had to think about getting the rest of us to safety, but I would never leave you behind. I care about you too much. Do you? Pip asked in a quiet voice. You and Mom never had any time for me when we were fillies. You never cared. Why should now be any different? Never? Zip stared blankly at her sister as she tried to parse out what she'd just said. This isn't just about the concert, is it? She asked Pip, and when Pip sniffled, Zip closed the remaining distance between her sister and herself. Pip, tell me what's wrong. Honestly, I need to know what I did wrong. Pip sniffled again, and her fluffy white wings trembled. With you and Mom, I, I sometimes feel like the third pony pulling a two-horse cart. Mom's the queen and you're the heir. You're more important. You're her favorite. I'm just the spare daughter with the pretty voice. She doesn't have time for me, and you're both too important for me. That's not true, Zip said forcefully. The whole plan I had with Sunny and Izzy only got so far as it did because you had all of Mom's attention, Pip. She was so happy and proud to see her daughter perform that she shut everything else out in the world. Even me. Because I have to compete with you for her attention! Pip's heard accusation accompanied a soft growl in her throat. The rest of the time? It's all put away the phone, Pip. You spend too much time on the internet, Pip. Why can't you be more responsible like your sister, Pip? But how can I be like you when there's only one heir? When there's only one zip storm? A tear fell from Pip's pink cheek. Mom doesn't have time for me and you don't want anything to do with me. The only time I feel like some pony appreciates me is when I'm streaming or singing. And even then, they only love me because of what I can do, not because of who I am! Pip shuddered, and wiped at her nose with the back of her hoof, while Zip could only look on in shock, mouth slightly agape. She wanted to deny everything Pip said, to tell her younger sister that she was just being paranoid or confused. But she couldn't bring herself to say the words. Because a part of her worried that she was right. Their mom was queen, and she always had to have the interests of her subjects at the front of her mind. And when there weren't any pressing concerns to address, their mom turned her attention to her, the heir to the throne, often to scold her or chastise her about the weight of the crown and the responsibility that came with it. She had spent countless hours bickering back and forth with her mom over the responsibilities of being the heir apparent, and when she wasn't doing that, Zip often found herself either practicing her parkour around the mountains or in her hidey hole in the abandoned station trying to unlock the mysteries of aerodynamics. When was the last time that she had been to any of Pip's rehearsals? When was the last time she had done anything together with her sister before Sunny and Izzy made their way to Zephyr Heights and turned her world upside down? How long had it been since she had shown her sister that she was loved? It put Pip's addiction to her social media and her stardom in a completely different light. It gave the pink pegasus the intention her mother often couldn't spare her or her sister was reluctant to give. And while their adventure with Sunny and Izzy and Hitch had brought them together for a time and put those feelings on the back burner, now that they had returned to Zephyr Heights, that loneliness and fear of being left out must have struck like a sledgehammer. Of course it made sense that now would be the time when Pip finally cracked, their adventure with Sunny had brought the family closer together. And now that it was over, how could she know whether things would change, or if they'd just go back to the way they were? Zip wrapped her wings around her sister, and pulled her close to her chest. The pink pegasus froze, unsure of what was going to happen next. But Zip just closed her eyes, and leaned into the embrace, hugging her sister tight. I'm sorry. She murmured in a Pip's ear. For leaving you hanging. For not being there. For ignoring you. I haven't been a good sister. But I can try to be a better one from now on. Pip trembled once. Really? She asked, her voice a tiny whisper. Really? Zip assured her. 
We may not be two of your little pips or whatever you call them, but Mom and I, we're your number one fans. Mom loves to listen to you sing. You were the star of the show that night. And no pony was as into it as Mom was. And after we ran across the country with Sunny and the rest of our friends, I know you'll always have my back. So, I'm gonna do my best to have yours. She gave Pip another squeeze. So, what do you say? Sound good to you? The pink pegasus shivered. But how do I know that you're not just saying that? How do I know that you actually mean it? Because if we can befriend an earth pony and a unicorn, we can befriend each other. Zip said. We're family. We're sisters. We're supposed to love each other. Just because we haven't been the best at it before doesn't mean that we can't try now. Right? Her sister sniffled again, but she leaned into Zip's embrace and nuzzled her chest. Yeah. The pop star princess choked out. Thank you, Zip. Don't worry about it. Zip told her. She held the embrace for a few seconds longer, and then relented so Pip could sit upright. When she did, Zip gave her a gentle bump, shoulder to shoulder. So, when are you singing next? Pip sighed and grumbled, some of her usually colorful presence and personality beginning to creep back into her. <laughs> Beats me! They basically cancelled me after that show! Cancelled! Me! Can you believe it? Eh, I did seem pretty mad. Zip admitted. As far as revolutions go, that whole lock up the royals for not being able to fly thing happened pretty fast. At least it sort of worked itself out when we got our magic back. But, uh, yeah, that sounds like it sucked. So how are you gonna get out of it? Get uncancelled. Like you said, it'll have to be an apology video or something of the like. Pip huffed and let her wings droop. I'm gonna have to put on so much mascara and just really go to town on the eyes. And get a lemon for the tears. Oh, I hate that part. Zip raised an eyebrow. That doesn't seem all the genuine of an apology if you have to set it up. It is! Pip protested. It is a genuine apology, but my fans only appreciate drama. So, you really gotta turn everything up to 11. She gasped and turned to Zip. Idea! She sang. If I get you and Mom in on the video too, then it can be an apology from the whole family. That'll really bring in the views. <sighs> if you say so. Zip said with a roll of her eyes. But, uh, I'm not gonna be putting on makeup and pretending to cry on stream. Oh, you don't have to. Mom's good at playing that part. Besides, the whole emotional princess thing was never really your style. Your fans always liked how serious and disinterested you were. Zip's eyebrow climbed high up her white forehead. Uh, w wait I... have fans? <laughs> of course you do, silly filly. Pip said with a chuckle. Ponies are always asking me when's the next time I'll get you in a video. Though of course they're just strangers on the internet. You've got a bigger fan living right down the hall from you. Zip looked at Pip, and when she saw her younger sister smile, she couldn't help but smile back at her. I'll keep that in mind, she said. They shared a sisterly nuzzle, and when Pip yawned halfway through it, Zip patted her on the back with her wing. Come on, it's late. We should get back to bed. Yeah, a princess has to get her beauty sleep. Then she winked at Zip. I know how much you'll need it. <laughs> har har, Zip said as both ponies stood up. But before they took off, Zip had one more thing to say. Hey, Pip? Yeah? Love you. Pip giggled and smiled. Love you too, sister. This feels so much like how Celestia and Luna were. Both popularity being an important thing and then the relationship between the two sisters, it's very similar. It's a nice and very much welcome change of pace. Now let's get on to our bright stars of donators. Top donators Peter Coldhard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. Zar630, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Roland, CrazyColor557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyrae, Chris, Dospo, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, RuneScythe9852, Madman Stan, Lazzy Perkett, Drake Love Dragon, Hansel Norman, Stephen Bingham, Lion God 12, Sorcerer Constantine, Hud Zaza, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.